Hello everybody, it's Amel, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve backspace string compare. Given two strings S and T, return if they are equal when both are typed into empty text editors. Pound sign means a backspace character. Here they give you several examples. Example 1, the input S equals AB pound sign C, and the input T equals AD pound sign C. The method returns true because both S and T become AC. As you can see, we see A, then we see B, then we see pound sign. When we see pound sign, that's a backspace character, so we delete the B, and then we see C, so that becomes AC. Then T, we see A, we see D. When we see pound sign, that's the backspace character, so we delete the D, and then we see the C, so it also becomes AC. Example two, S equals A, B, pound sign, pound sign, and T equals A, pound, uh, equals C, pound sign, D, pound sign. So, they both become the empty string, so the method returns true because they become the same, the empty string. We see A, we see B, then we see pound sign, so we delete the B, then we see pound sign, we delete the A. T, okay, we see C, then we see pound sign, we delete the C, we see D, then when we see pound sign, we delete the D. So it also becomes the empty string. So how can we solve this problem? There are several ways to solve this problem. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem using big O of m plus n time complexity, where m is the length of s and n is the length of t, and big O of m plus n space complexity. And in the follow-up question, that's going to be the next video, I'll show you how to solve it in only big of one space. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to solve this problem with the first solution. First, I'm going to say return helper of s that equals helper of t. So this helper method is going to be a method that will process every string and it will apply every backspace character when we see a backspace character. And then I call this method, it returns a string and then I compare and if it is equal to the other um, string processed after we apply the backspace, if they are equal, that means that we return true, otherwise we're going to return false. Then I'm going to have that method down below. So private string helper string s. Then I will have a string builder here, but I can also use a stack because we can use the LIFO property. Last thing first out, whenever we see a backspace, we want to delete the most recent character that we saw. So we can use a stack or we can use a, a string builder. In this case, I'm going to use a string builder. So string builder sb is the value of new string builder. Then I will iterate through s. So for char c in s that to char array. Then if this character c equals equals a pound sign, that means that this character is a backspace character. Otherwise, that's just a normal character. If it is a normal character, I just want to append that character to the string builder. So sb that append c. If it is a pound sign, that means that that character is a backspace character. So I need to check if I have characters in my string builder. So if sb that length is not equal to zero, then I want to delete the most recent character that I saw. So I will say sb that char sb that delete char at sb that length minus one so this will delete the last character that i saw or the most recent character that i saw so that will apply the backspace making sure that i check if i have something there if I have more characters that I have seen before, then I delete the most recent character that I saw, applying the backspace character. Then at the end, I just want to return sb.toString. 
I will run the code all right I will submit my solution this is working perfectly so as I said before the time complexity is big of m plus n where m is the length of s and n is the length of t and the space complexity is also big of m plus n in the next video we're going to we're going to do the next question the follow-up question it, and this question is that we have to reduce this the space complexity to constant so if you like this video please press the like button don't forget to subscribe and see you next time